Two of the local propositions on the ballot might redefine Austin City Council. Austin currently has six council members who are elected at large. Propositions three and four are competing to change that makeup, creating geographic districts. Prop three will create 10 districts and 10 council members, while four would elect eight members from districts with two at large seats. Now this weekend, supporters hope to get that message out. And we ask both sides why voters should choose their side. Right now, there are no Austin City Council members that live south of the river, where 40% of the population lives. And this will finally give us true representation. And candidates from all over the uh, city will not have to have big bucks to run citywide. Unlike Proposition 3, we have what we call a hybrid approach, a mixture, you know, what we consider to be a more balanced approach. We don't do a complete 180 degree flip. We uh, say that we want to create some districts, eight districts in our case, but we want to retain some council members who are at large. Now, if either of these plans go forward, we'll have four extra council members you see. And keep in mind that you can vote for either of the propositions or for both of them. And if both have more than 50% support, the one with the more votes will take effect. And this reminder, Capital Metro will offer voters and everybody else a free ride to the polls or anywhere else on Election Day. The agency will provide free rides all day long Tuesday on buses, Metro Rail, and Metro Access. And this week, KXAN News and NBC will provide in-depth coverage of Decision 2012, from the presidential race down to our local elections. Starting tomorrow through Wednesday, we'll have a two-hour block of nonstop news beginning at 5 p.m. And, of course, election coverage all night long on Tuesday.